Hi, how's it going? All right, so another video for you. Um, second video of the night. This is the Zero VSH Patcher version 01. Now, this is a beta. This is the first release. Now, there's going to be two files I'm going to need you to have to download. There's the SRC um, Zero VSH Patcher and then the Zero VSH Patcher uh, bin thing. So, you're going to download these two files here. I'll have the links on my website for the download where you can go locate it in the link below to lead you to that website where you can get the download. As you can see, I'm running custom firmware 6.60 Pro V10. And I simply exit that, and I'm going to go into USB mode now. So, I'm going to USB. I'm going to exit USB. Then I'm going to go back into USB because for some reason I can't use remote joy light and fucking USB mode at the same damn time. I'm going to get it. Alright, so, first thing I'm going to have you do, is it this one? I don't remember. Yeah, it's this one. Alright. Now, open up that readme text. Uh, well, actually, I'm just doing this because I don't remember. Okay. Alright, that's easy enough. Okay, anyways. So, all these files. You're going to need all these files right here. So, all of this, all the way down. So, First things first. Let's open this up. And I'm going to locate my PSP. Now I'm going to use the system storage here. So I'm going to go open up the PSP folder. And uh, I think they told me to do it in here. Is it this one? Yeah, it is this one. Alright, here we go. So, first things first. Let's go in here. You're going to need to make a new folder. I'm going to call this new folder VSH in all capital letters. So, VSH. So on the PSP. Make a VSH folder in the PSP folder. So PSP root of the memory stick, open up the PSP folder, and then make a VSH folder, and open that up. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take all these files. So click the first one, go all the way down to the bottom, hit shift, and select the last one, and then just copy all these files onto the uh, PSP into the VSH folder, like so. So once you've done that, Double check, make sure they're all there. Go back. And go back once more to the root of memory stick. Now, if you haven't already, right click or hit new folder here and make a new folder called SE Plugins, all lowercase letters, and open that up. Now, what you're going to do is you can exit this. And uh, I'm going to come over here and you're going to open up the second file that I have you download, which is the BIN in brackets at the end. Uh, open that up. And you're going to see the zero VSH patcher.prx. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to simply just do this. Now, notice the clue. Now, this will not show you how to install the PRX file. Notice the clue here. All right. VSH. Now, where do you think we're going to use this plugin? Now, bear with me because this is the first time I'm doing this too. So, anyways. Zero patcher.prx. Drag and drop that into the SE plugins folder. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy the title. You can hit Control C to copy it, or you can just right click and hit copy. And what you're going to want to do if you haven't already is uh, right click and select New Text Document down here at the bottom, and click that and name it VSH in all capital letters or all lowercase. It doesn't matter. Double click and open that up. Now. If you're using a PSP um, 1000, 2000, or 3000, you're going to be writing MS0 colon slash. In this case, I'm using the internal memory of a PSP Go, so I'm going to be using the EF0. So I'm going to write EF0 colon slash SE plugins slash, and then I'm just going to paste the 0 VSH underscore patcher dot PRX space 1. Now, if you're using the memory stick on the PSP Go, you're going to write MS0 colon slash, just like you would on the PSP 1000 through 3000. Exit that VSH and hit save. And then once you do that, you can exit that. You can exit this. I can exit USB mode. I can hit select here. I can reset my VSH. Wait for it. There we are. Now I'm going to plug this in. Now I'm going to go select and I'm going to go to my recovery menu. And let's go to the plugins. 
system storage. Now, you should see the zero VSH underscore patcher dot PRX VSH enabled. That's good. So go back, go back, and go back. Now, uh, I believe. Nope, it's not there. Uh, where the fuck is it? Nope. Nope. Where the hell is this shit? Oh, boy. Let me read real quick. Shut up. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, right. Duh. All right, so anyways. Now. Duh, it's automatic. Okay, so don't worry about anything. If you don't see a drastic change at first. Now, these files are just probably used for coding it together. Okay, so now that I've thought about it for another 30 seconds, I finally understand it. Now, what you're going to do, you see these things, you got fonts, which are PGF. You got bitmap images, which are .bp or .bmp. Resources, which are RCO. Game boots, which are .pmf. Modules, uh, which are .prx, or other words, I see plugins. So, make a long story short. Any of those files, you're going to take those and put them in the VSH folder that you have created in the PSP folder. And then you reset your VSH and the plugin goes to work and you automatically get to, you know, do all that fun shit. So, um, just pretty much put those in the folder and reset your VSH and it'll automatically boot in. So, like, say I wanted a custom WAV file or something, it'll be in the background, like so. Um, also, if I wanted uh, custom fonts or something, it would also take effect. If I wanted a custom game boot, it would take effect, and all that fun shit. So, remember that. So, again, description below, and also downloads on the website. Rate, comment, subscribe to my channel. Also, leave your questions on my comment feed, so I can put them in my Your Questions Answered episodes. Uh, another one coming up this Tuesday, by the way. Hopefully, if I have enough questions. And uh, also, uh, check out my website, Software Reborn. Follow me on Twitter, at DeathRain333. And my blogger, which is Electronics and Software, on my blog. And you will see all the links on my channel. So, take it easy, guys. And I hope you enjoy your new little automated SE plugin. So, yeah, take it easy.